It's the wrestling vibe. Um, so yeah, there you go. Welcome to episode four? Four? Four, yes, because we didn't do a predictions video because stuff happened and we didn't have time for it. Uh, as usual, there's me. If you don't know who I am, then why the hell are you even watching this video? Or listening to it, depending on your likeness. Uh, we have, as per usual, Shadow. Uh, and joining us today for the very first time from Scotland, it's the Drunk Man. Really? That's my introduction? That's your introduction, yes. Wow. 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 Okay. I was expecting something a little bit more okay. Sure, hi, I'm, I am underdog. Well, who else could I possibly fucking be? <laughs> the drunk man. Yeah, sure, the, the drunk man, that works. We're here together to join forces and review Extreme Rules 2012. Ah, oh, I'm the Batman. All right. Starting off with the pre-show. Dun, dun. I only saw a clip of this. You only saw a clip of the pre-show. I only saw the ending of the pre-show, yeah. Am I the only one who saw the pre-show on YouTube? Yep. So I know what happened. I know what happened. Santino beat the Miz, basically. Um, yeah, it was like Santino was going for the Cobra, pulled at the Cobra to do it, and he went for it, but then Miz reversed. But then, like, I think Miz, Miz, Miz went for that thing in the corner, like he does the jump in the, the clothesline. Yeah, yeah, that clothesline thing. But then Santino reversed that and hit the Cobra, the Cobra and pinned him. Basically, I, honestly, I don't actually remember the match, so what? I, I don't remember the match. I actually saw it, but I barely remember it. I only remember the ending. That's, that sounds kind of bad. I mean, like Miz, who used to be like Miz, who main event at WrestleMania 27, suddenly is getting beat in a pre show on Extreme Rules against Santino for the United States. Well, we don't want to put the United States title on him. Yeah, I know, but that's just wow. Why not make somebody else? Or just you know, it's because, bad. Because WWE is going to a partnership with YouTube, and they want to attract people to start watching their stuff on YouTube. So they put the Miz in the match as an attraction to the match. Like if it was Santino for someone else, um, I don't know. Let's say Jack Swagger. A lot less people would have watched the match than if it was the Miz. Because the Miz was there, people were more interested to go watch the match on YouTube. So if anything, it's it's like a big compliment to the Miz saying we need you in this match so people will actually watch it. I suppose I'd watch it for Santino too. Uh, so let's see. It started with Randy Orton versus Kane. I only saw like the last four minutes of this match because I oh, came I in late. I saw that match. Yeah. Did you, Did you see, see it all, it? Shadow? No. You didn't see the Randy Orton versus uh, Kane match. No. Jesus Christ, what were you doing? Where are you living, man? Uh, what was I doing? I wasn't upstairs. In my room. So, you just saw the ending, Jay? Yeah, Darren, you sound like a robot. Me? Yeah. Hey. You sound like a robot right now. Why? I don't know. Anywhere? No, you still sound like a robot. <laughs> what the fuck? How okay, okay, now you're good. Now you're good. Yeah, so I came in to the match uh, right before Zack Ryder mounted Kane. Oh, yeah, pretty much. It's just it's just like what you thought. Like, started off like they started attacking each other. Uh, I think Kane, Kane instantly brought out the lead pipe. See the one that he used before when um, he attacked. The, I think it was two weeks on SmackDown when he, uh, Kane attacked um, Cowboy Bob Orton. Yes. They then he used that lead pipe on Orton. He brought that straight back out, started beating the crap out of them. Then they fought through the crowd. Uh, I think Lillian Garcia was screaming her head off the entire time. Um, they fought all the way through, through the back. Uh, I think they were fighting... Yeah, they pretty much fought through the locker rooms and shit, and then they went into that bit with Zack Ryder and all that. 
You want to defend you? Uh, you know, Zack Ryder hit him and Randy Orton came back and then he started fighting and he ended up back outside and there was a choke slam. Actually, I think there were like two choke slams. Uh, uh -huh. There were about three RKO reversals. Randy Orton hit the face of the... What's it called? The ring post and the... Eventually what? he hit the RKO onto a steel chair and he won. Yeah, after reversing the tombstone on that yeah. steel chair. Yeah, that was a nice ending. That's pretty much expected that Oregon was going to beat Kane because, let's face it, this feud was last second and retarded. Yeah, it's, it's, a, filler, it's a filler feud for Ford. I think they're waiting until, like, I don't know, somebody bigger comes back for old face. Like, it's going to be way Wait, better. wait, just Kane, wait, just Kane, like, 40 something now. What? Kane, he's really, really old. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's almost in his. He's, he's in his late 40s, I think. Yeah, he's fucking old, man. He's, he's gonna be done soon, I reckon. I reckon he's gonna go soon. Of course he is. And then they're gonna lose one of their most interesting characters because of it. Hmm. Very true. Uh, yeah, okay, I or win that one. Yeah. Oh, what was next? It was Brodus Clay with Hornswoggle, Cameron, and Naomi against Dolph Ziggler with Vicky Guerrero and Jack Swagger. This was so pointless. I didn't even watch the entire match. What? It was amazing. What are you talking about? They're ki they are killing Ziggler after he worked his ass. I don't like watching Ziggler that much, but he worked his ass off. I can give him that. And now they're killing him by making a fat guy who can dance beat him. No, no, no. You're looking completely wrong. Ziggler can't be killed. The fact is, Ziggler has such a huge hardcore backing that he literally cannot die. I mean, just by getting hit, people love it. The fact is, he's the best seller. He's the best seller in WWE. So nope. what are you gonna do? You're gonna have him sell moves, so people are gonna like him more for it. That's the truth about it. And then you have Brodus Clay. And let's face it, you're not gonna expect Brodus Clay to lose just yet. He hasn't and lost a match yet in like months. Of course he hasn't. That's his uh, gimmick. He's the big guy. He's the he's the Funkasaurus. Fun Somebody call your mama. <laughs> You know, he ended up beating Dolph Ziggler with a body splash. Even though there was interference from Jack Swagger in that match. It's probably going to end with uh, some some kind of something. I don't even know where it's actually going right now. It seems a bit weird. No, it's just stupid. It's like they're just taking a lot of people. They put, they put Hornswoggle in there as well just to mm -hmm. give him something to do. Did you see that shadow? I'm going to guess no. Uh, what match? Brodus Clay versus Dolph Ziggler. No. No, and Dolph Ziggler's actually taking it to Bros Clay. I think that was actually Bros Clay's longest match in the WWE <laughs> ever. So that wow. that that also shows that Dolph Ziggler can take it to the big man. So I don't think he was hurt in that match whatsoever. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Even though the match was shorter than the pre-show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So yeah, the later matches were definitely quite long, I must say. Um, let's see. We had then we had Cody Rhodes against Big Show for the Intercontinental Championship in a tables match. I enjoyed it. I loved how they did it. Yeah. Uh, I, the match came up and I was like, "Oh God, not again! I'm fed up." And I watched the match. It is. I think that was maybe the best match they've had. The best match. They did those two have had. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, they played it really well. They caught the own spot right at the start, I think, when uh, Big Show tried to throw him the table in the corner. He did, like, the... Uh, what the fuck's called it? Beautiful disaster. Uh, yeah. Yeah, beautiful disaster. Off the table. Uh, I love that. Oh, good. I thought the table went break by accident and so shit. But yeah, I thought it was really well done. Darren, you sound like a robot again. Am I? Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you, do you hear him sounding like a robot, or is it just my side? How? No. Okay, so he's good, Darren. He's back. Oh. So yeah, Cody Rhodes, he beat Big Show in a very, very funny way. Yeah, was that an accident, or take it that was, was that script? No, that was on purpose, that was on purpose. Right. Uh, he Basically, Big Show fell into a table, and Cody Rhodes kicked him. And, yeah, uh, it was hardly, he hardly fell. It was like Big Show was on the, uh, the the apron outside, and there's a table like underneath him, and like Cody Rhodes, uh, I think he drop kicked his foot as Big Show was trying to climb over, and Big Show like he put down one right foot, 
and the right foot went through the table. Yeah, he, he put down his foot to catch himself, and he he snapped to the table. And then you saw his face like, oh, you got to be fucking. Yeah, there's a like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And the referee walks over. They're like, what the hell happened? Oh shit! Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Yeah. <laughs> Cody Rhodes. Then, then Big Show goes like all caps rage and starts putting Cody Rhodes to like two or three tables. Yeah, he puts him. He basically chokes him to a table in the ring, and then he chokes him to a table outside of the ring. <sighs> Wow. And uh, Cody Rhodes, even though he got completely fucked up at the end of the match, he 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 super saiyans up and he takes the title and he walks out on his own power. Yeah, somehow. Because he's Ugh. Cody Rhodes. I mean, Big Show didn't even go for the 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 weapon of mass destruction. Really, you get I'm really surprised that they've called it that. Why? It's a gigantic <laughs> fist. What what would you call it? I just wouldn't think Americans would call it that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I thought you'd be a bit Apparently, you've about. never heard of uh, George Bush. Uh. Oh, snap. What do you think about that match, Shadow? And Pop. What? Snap, Pop. What did you think about the match? What did I give the match? What did you think of Cody Rhodes versus Big Show? Yeah, my stream was fucking up during it. I only saw the ending. Cause my stream was fucking what up. What did you think of the that. ending? Um, it was cool. <laughs> Oh, there you have it, folks. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. <laughs> yeah, in the words of the great shadow. Before we get to the next match, I just want to say this. You're probably noticing that there is not a scoreboard on the screen this time. I am not doing that again. That would take way too fudging long to do. No, so, scoreboard. no what, what we'll do, guys, is after we've went through all the matches, we'll go back and give them a rating out of five or ten or something. And we'll, screw we'll that. They can take my opinion here and now. No. I Shut ain't up. going back. No, screw you, Darren. This is my show. Okay, <laughs> I'm taking over. No, you're not. I'll slap you with my penis. I will get homosexual up in this mother. All right? I will. I'm the captain of this <laughs> ship, and I will bend you over the goddamn... Yo, yo, we might have miners watching this shit. Calm down. Miners. I, as you swear, yo, my go, I have. I have sworn shit, shit. I have not sworn once. I have yeah, said some. Swore shadow. Anyway, back on track, guys. What's the next match, G? Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. Okay, seeing every two out of three falls. Two out of three fall. Why well, can't I say the name of that match? Two out of three falls match. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I have never seen the first fall to take so long to get. That's because it's a real match, there, and God. It took, I like it. Man, it took fucking ages. It was a nice match. What? It was a very good match. It was a very good match, dude. Well, it was pretty good, but I just took ages to care. I mean... The first fall was from... What was it? It was from... Brian getting disqualified. Yeah, from keep constantly doing the kicks to the, the arm. Because, like, Sheamus, like, it looked like Sheamus fucked up his arm at one point, because, um, Brian yeah. threw him through the ring post, and then, like, the armband of Sheamus kind of caught in the ropes. So, then Brian's pretty much worked on it for the rest of the match. That was Sheamus getting the first fall by disqualification. Brian then made Sheamus pass out in the yes lock. Yeah, I don't that's get what it's how, how... Now? Yeah, that's what it's called now. Yeah, the oh, yes lock. How, how did the they make him pass out? He's pulling on his arm. The yes lock? Are you kidding me? Well, Darren, you put you put your fist over someone's face like this, and you're still there. <laughs> Basically, the yes yeah, it's called the yes lock. Yes is now Daniel Bryan's legacy. Yes. 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 Look at the crowd going or say that. They kept shaking. Oh, yeah. oh. Basically, after after uh, Sheamus passed out and, and like, they got, like, trainers and stuff to go check on him in the corner, Brian was in the other corner, and he was going with the fingers up saying, yes, yes, yeah, for yes. Ages. And the crowd, the crowd, they were going, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And that was, and that was so awesome because... Well, basically, because there was like a two, it was like a two-minute break in the match, and he basically kept the crowd, kept the crowd invested into it. Yeah, it was awesome, man. The crowd, the crowd are awesome in Chicago. Yes. 
One of the best crowds to that. Wow, it was awesome to watch. Honestly, the, the, the crowd makes the pay per view. The crowd, they really do add a lot to the pay per view. And then, and then out of nowhere, at one point, Sheamus hit the bro kick and he pinned Daniel Bryan. And that, I don't know, it was. It no, was... no, no, you're thinking earlier. It's like, um, after, the, after they finally got back, after like the two minutes where Sheamus was getting treated to, uh, Daniel Bryan just sprinted at him. Sheamus kind of like pushed himself away from the corner, hit the bro kick. But that bro they... kick didn't get a pin. He yeah, kicked, he didn't get pinned. Daniel kicked out of that. It was later on in the match that he got the bro kick and he yeah. went he won off of that one. Yep. That, that that bro kick in particular, it just it seemed misplaced. Aye. It seemed misplaced. Are you me? What? Kim Kardashian's gonna run for me. Okay, Shadow, I'm sorry. This is not the Kardashian vibe, alright? No. Get the fuck Read off, Twitter. Man. Hello. We're, we're not talking about some uptown whore and running for political servers. I don't give two flying F-bombs about that, okay? All right, because you don't live in America. Why would you even care? I know. You're black. It... Whatever. Cool. Just go, just go. Do I have to, I have to say just about this go. match, so The best part of this match was the fact that there was no... Appearance by Alberto Del Scumbag. Yeah, which is weird. He, he won a number one of tennis and this basically cut him out. Yep. Thank God, they did well for once. And I, I was surprised. I thought, oh, we might see AJ. Because he showed her before the match. Yeah, like, yeah. Shad and Shad was watching. Kind yeah, of creepy. She's, she's going to be a stalker now. Do you think they're going to get back together or something? No. No, 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 no. I think she's going to cost him a match or something. Sure. I thought she was going to cost him the final fall or something. Like that, but... She's a stalker, Darren. God. It's creepy. You're a robot again. I'm not a robot. Leave me for fuck's sake. You sound like a robot right now. What? You sound like a robot. That's better. Talk again. Hello. Okay, you're better. What? Oh. Okay, now you're a bit more of a robot. Talk fast. Nah, baby. Okay, so Darren has gone to uh, answer a business call. Uh, so now it's going to be me and Shadow talking about the next match, which was Ryback versus two jobbers. I didn't see that. You didn't see it? And you haven't been around, so you, you really haven't seen much of Ryback on SmackDown, have you, Shadow? Oh, I haven't seen uh, that. But he came out. I was so confused. You haven't been watching SmackDown? SmackDown's been kind of boring for me lately. I'm not enjoying it. Ryback! Well, Ryback is uh, essentially... Uh, Goldberg. Basically, he's Goldberg, Goldberg in a one-piece uh, wrestling attire. Yeah. Um, hey, look, it's, no, it's Goldberg... And Rob Van Dan's attire. Yeah. So yeah, it's of, almost, yeah. almost exactly. It even has the R big R on it and shit. It looks like RVD's attire. It's true. It's true. Hey, actually, at that time, I was on Twitter, and after his match, what was trending worldwide was RVD's and Goldberg. So. Yeah. Yeah, WWE. We know your secret, Vince, an original <laughs> bastard. I know, you tried to screw over good guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Ryback, or as his, as his first name was, what was his first name? Um, Skip Sheffield. Skip Sheffield is one ugly motherfucker. Uh, well, anyway, he, he, he pretty much destroyed the two guys with his muscle buster. Yeah, that was weird. We had really weird finishers. That's his finisher. Yeah, I've never seen him for my life. It's a so running him. muscle buster. Mm. And, um... Well, yeah, he won. It's to be expected. It was a handicap match uh, against two random people that don't really matter. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, the kids, they kept with the same thing to push him. They have the random jobbers talk shit to the crowd. And then he comes out, he destroys them, and everyone loves him. Except so, yeah. they were just chatting Goldberg the entire time. Yeah, basically, because, you know, it's Chicago, and you can't fool Chicago and your fans. Yep. Yep. This is true, they're good fans. And so, then, 
we sure. went straight into the WWE title match. Woo! No, no, we didn't. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I'm talking about so Bose just did. Please continue. <laughs> it's Chris Jericho versus CM Punk in a <laughs> Chicago street fight, which lasted 25 minutes. That all? It seemed longer. It was 25 minutes and 15 seconds. It was good. I must say, I, when, I, when Jericho came out with like jeans and that one, I was like, what the fuck? I, I told you, came... Derek. I told you that you do street fights in jeans, but you didn't listen to me. I know, but I forgot it was a street fight. I was like, oh my god, is Jericho but going back you to like, still have time to make it right, Derek. What? You still have time to make it right. Make what right? Oh. I do actually. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, so yeah. Yeah, and Punk came down. Was Punk wearing jeans or jean shorts? Uh, I think they were actually jeans. They were just like wearing wider jeans, whereas Jericho... Uh, Jericho looked like he was almost wearing skinny jeans. Jericho was wearing skinny jeans with his yeah. uh, normal boots and knee pads. It's hard to tell for Punk because they were like tucked into his kick pads. So I'm not sure what the hell he was wearing. Uh, yeah. Punk's sister in the front row. It's very nice. It's all right. What'd you say, Darren? She said, I said she's all right. Did you see what happened to Jericho when he tried to touch his sister? Do you want to end up like that? I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> you wouldn't mind getting fucked up by CM Punk. Oh, no, we haven't been like that part, obviously. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Uh, so, yeah, it was, a, it was a really, 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 really good match. It was better than one at Mania. Oh, yeah. Much by better. far, man. The rematch was definitely better. Um, maybe because it was a street fight, but... Uh, yeah, it wasn't even that technical. They just went at it, like, punching the fuck at each other. It's awesome. There was a lot of cool shit going on. We had their submissions getting reversed. We had Jericho trying to go for the GTS. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. We had about 70 weird code breakers. Yeah, he always does them in weird. He heard them for does them normal now. It's like, oh, like a, it's like the Mizzy's uh, the knee DDT that he does when the person's on when he goes on his knees or something. Yeah, it's like a code breaker was like that. Punk was on his knees almost and Jericho like a mini code breaker. Yeah, he used hornswoggle code breaker. <laughs> he was doing the code breaker whenever CM Punk was like hunched over, so it was like he'd hit the floor in like a second, and it doesn't really seem like the impact's that great. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I don't know, it was just weird. He went for the moonsault once, and he did miss it, obviously, as he always does. He never hits that, the, the lion salt, sorry. The lion salt. He never fucking hits that move. Don't he put that fucking move back in 12, I mean 13 or whatever. The better, it's awesome. I love that move. Yeah, it's pretty, that's How what can I you even do the move? You're like 300 pounds, Shadow. I know, I Shadow. I lose weight if I can use that move. Right? <laughs> oh, weight. Yeah. shit. I so it's amazing. Yeah, and anyway, um, what the two? What did they have out? They had, well, Jericho ended up trying to pour beer over Punk again. And why is there beer under the ring? I don't know. It's like why the fuck would they? Is it for Hornswoggle? Because he lives under there and he fancies a drink. But he, but he came down with the Funkosaurus, man. Yeah, but he probably went back under there at some point. <laughs> Maybe 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 it was like Hornswoggle's birthday or something. They're just having a drinking party, and he's kind of leftovers. I don't know. It was it was really weird. He started pouring over them. And then Punk Punk went kind of rage mode a lot because uh, Jericho tried to hit his sister after she slapped him. Yeah. He went like all caps rage and shit, and he started beating the crap out of him. How long uh, have we been going? We don't want to go like too long. No, we've already been here for like 30 minutes. You might as well just go for an hour. Yeah, Shadow. <laughs> Your face, Shadow. What does it matter to you? You don't have to render shit. So, uh, yeah. It was a very, 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 very good yeah, match. Have... It was probably the match of the night. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, but the thing is, the weird thing I was confused about, see, at one point it was like, uh, Punk had picked up Jericho. He then reached up and closed his like he put his hand over his nostrils, and Jericho like kind of fainted. And I was like, "What the fuck?" I don't remember that. Do not. I'll show you at some point. But it was really watching for it, guys. It's during the match. I don't know if it's the last. Um, it's not the last. It's not the final uh, GTS. But Punk like reaches up 
and puts Jet. No, aye, aye, it's the bit where um, Jericho goes for the line so Punk like picks him up on his shoulders so for like the electric chair job. Then Punk puts his hand up to Jericho's nose, closes his fingers around his nose, and like then just Jericho kind of faints and falls onto the GTS position. It's mm. so weird. But anyway, moving on. Was there chloroform involved? <laughs> Probably. Probably. There's one thing before we move on. Just for the record, a street fight you can pin anywhere you want, right? Yeah. I'm not crazy to believe that's how a street fight works. Yeah, the last street fight, like, I mean, mind the Latino street fight, they were fucking fighting out in the car park and pinned them on a car bonnet. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah I'm not crazy. Yeah. Screw you, Will. Fucking weird. The next match was for the Divas title. It was Nikki Bella, with Brie Bella. And it was versus a secret diva. Yeah. Who we all thought would be karma. Then then Eve said it wasn't karma. And then it turned out to be Layla. Who is using... The same fucking song that Michelle McCool has used, that Tori Wilson fucking used as well. How many divas are they going to give that song to? Tree. <laughs> tree, Darren, that's on me. Tree. 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 Um, chances are, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be Karma, but they felt it was going to be too predictable. Yeah. So they changed did, it did, to Did Layla. Layla have a knee brace on? I don't know, man. I wasn't really paying attention. I think... I think she did. She has a knee brace on, so clearly she's not fully recovered yet. Like, I don't know. But it was like I blended into her tire. They made it all silver and sparkly and shit, but it was really, it was there. I don't know, man. I was paying attention. Yeah, she went with the layout, the swinging net breaker. Or but whatever. here is the problem I have with this match. Okay, now I know no one gives a shit about the Divas title, but let me tell you something. When the freaking champion loses their title when they're not getting pinned, that doesn't make any effing sense. (laughs) Nikki Bella never got pinned. She never (laughs) lost the title. What the hell? You have like Eve coming out here making shit lumberjill matches. Why the hell did she come out and say, "Oh no, that wasn't Brie. That wasn't Nikki. That was Brie." Because they decided to pull off some twin magic for no effing reason. Because they were only wrestling for about forty-five goddamn freaking seconds. I don't know, Jay. What? What? What What the hell? (laughs) God damn it, WWE. I'm tired of this crap. You did it with Christian and Matt Hardy, and I did it with Lila and Karma. Sometimes the predictable crap is the better crap, because that's the crap that's not only predictable, but it's what we want. We yeah. wanted to see Karma. We would have loved to see Karma, but we didn't get to see Karma. We saw Layla. Now the freaking Bella Twins are going to leave with their contract expiring or whatever, because I don't know if they resigned or not. I don't really care. And then we don't get to see Karma beat them up like she said she was going to do a year ago. So thanks a lot for ruining continuity, WWE. I hope you're effing happy. I hate you. Well, I don't hate you, but I'm, I'm certainly disliking you. Yeah. <laughs> I just like you. Like anyway, you. moving on to uh, the main event. It was Brock Lesnar coming out in his UFC attire. Yeah, I was... Versus that. John Cena. Okay, it was Chain Gang. Chain. Shadow, yeah. tell me for the love of God you saw this match, because you have been shit-ass quiet this whole time. I know. Yeah, yeah I, I saw it. So, wow, really? How about you talk about this match for at least 30 seconds? Uh, okay, you got a timer anywhere? <laughs> I'm going to summarize this whole match. Oh, uh, okay. I got, I got a timer. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. I got a timer. Okay, All go. Right. Cena got beat the fuck up. Um, as soon as the match started, he got cut open with Lesnar's elbow. And um, he just got beat the fuck up. Um... And he seemed to, Brock, like, fucked up his arm somehow, like, tore a muscle or dislocated his sh- shoulder with the Kimura. Very, very known submission in the UFC. So it was good to see all that. But uh, I would like to see Brock in a wrestling attire soon. I don't think, if he does the UFC thing the whole year, 
then he really shouldn't be losing to anybody he faces, including The Rock, if he ends up facing him next year at Mania. So. And uh, Cena overpowered Rock in the last second with the uh, what was it? chain. He used the chain and wrapped it around his uh, hand and hit Brock in the head. He busted Brock open and he FU'd him. I don't like the attitude adjustment name, so I say FU. He FU'd him on the still steps. And that was it for Brock. Seven. That's a minute and 15 seconds. Yeah, I know. You you went over 30 seconds. Yeah. So, yeah, basically what happened Brock Lesnar basically beat the crap out of John Cena the entire match, UFC style. And Cena got two hits in yeah. one. That's cool. The thing I don't get, and while I don't want to be all this specific and technical, but what since when the hell can you pin someone on steel steps? I don't know. I thought that as soon as he said that, I was like, hold on, the ref hasn't got a count because he's on the fucking steps, not on the mat. They're, I know. They're, they're screwing over their own rules. I what know. Yeah. Just, Take a look. I don't even. I don't know, man. They want it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Now we have some interference from Shadow's family screaming, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He's gone. Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. is that your catchphrase? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay, so yeah, uh, Brock Lesnar beat the crap out of Cena. I'm. I don't know. I can't. Oh, man, I don't know. I. It was. It was. The first ten minutes, first ten fifteen minutes was really good. Then it kind of died off the last ten fifteen. And Cena is supposedly taking time off, whether yeah. he's injured or not, because yeah, he has Cena to film the after. Marine Three. The Marine is that Three, right? come on! I thought yeah. Orton was going to be in that. No, Orton got. They cut him off because the Marines asked Orton not to be in that movie because he was dishonorably discharged. So Orton's not going to star in the movie. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. See, I told you. You're going to remember that. Oh, God. See? <sighs> See? I told you he wasn't a, a hero. So I'm just trying to call him a, a freaking hero. God damn it, Shadow. Um, Beast. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago, you had a discussion where you were like, Randy Orton's like a hero. He was part of the army. I'm like, No. No, no, he's not. He, he never even got shipped overseas. How can that even be? Oh, because you get training, you're a hero? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> and it, it was like you and, and like two other people trying to make the point that Randy Orton... It was two other Americans on point. I'm not American. Okay, Jay, whatever, man. Just but, end the shit. Okay, look. Anyway, so Cena got two lucky hits. He won. Here's... Here's the problem. Besides the fact Cena got two lucky hits and won. Besides the fact... That he pinned them on the steel steps. This all comes down to one thing. And that is Vince McMahon's ego. Yeah. And basically, if you don't understand what I'm saying here, I'm basically saying John Cena, face of the WWE, represents sports entertainment. Then you get Brock Lesnar, a guy who's a former UFC champion, and they specifically went out and made this relevant. They said he was a former UFC champion. They said he went out, he dominated the UFC. They even had him come down in his MMA attire. Yeah, they were talking about it throughout the match. All the titles he won UFC. And so, MMA. by John Cena beating Brock Lesnar, it's basically Vince McMahon saying, WWE is better than UFC. And that's basically what he's... That's basically was the whole point of it at the end of the day. They could have had Brock Lesnar beat John Cena, which would have made a lot more sense, in my opinion. It would have been the logical oh, yeah. choice. If I was booking this, I would not have let Brock Lesnar lose the entire year. Oh, yeah, Jay, uh, by the way. What? Here is a video for you. Batista versus JBL. Batista pinned JBL on the still steps. Seriously? Yeah. That was a judgment day. All this now is a fuck up as well. God damn it. No, it makes no sense. What type of match was it? Uh... I don't know. It doesn't say, but it was obviously a match because the ref made the count. Was it no disqualification? Either that or a street fight or something like that. If it's, a street, if it's a street fight, I can understand how that's legal. I mean, if you could pin on concrete, you could pin on steel steps. 
I don't know. But Brock Lesnar and John Cena was a normal match. The only reason that so much crap got no, it wasn't and... Jay's extreme, was extreme moves. moves. No. Oh, was it? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell was the referee getting knocked out then? That's good. What the? <laughs> that makes no sense. I, Why I know, did you I say ref... this. That is no sense. The referee never needed to get knocked out if they were able to. Oh, for I the love of you... Jesus. Jay, I think they knocked the referee out both times. The first time it was so that um, because he kept trying to interrupt, we let it stop Lesnar from attacking him. So it, it just kind of shows that Lesnar could like beat down Cena. Then obviously the second time it was so he couldn't count Lesnar's fall. Yeah, I think that was why he did it. And yes, it was not really. I just any call it pure all... bullshit. Yeah, because the first time he got knocked out, Brock was looking for the ref so then he could make some calls or whatever. And then the second time, the ref got knocked out. He just got knocked out and Brock couldn't make the count so another referee came in. And here's another thing. Now I get if you want to send a referee all the way in, nothing's going on. But usually when there's a pin or submission and the referee's knocked down, another referee will come running out to count it, right? Yeah. So when, what, so when Brock locked in that thing on the arm that you're talking about, Shadow, because I don't know the name of it because I'm not an MMA person. Kimura. What? Kimura. Kimura? Kimura. The Kimura Kim lock. Am I correct in saying that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, he locked in the Camaro lock. Why didn't the referee rush down to see if Cena was going to tap? That's a good point. That is just a gigantic plot hole. Thank you, WWE, for ruining continuity again. Uh, so, I don't know. So, at the end of the day, the pay-per-view was good. The ending is very debatable if it was good or not. I'm not gonna lie. Well, to what be would honest, you guess with all the matches that it, that happened last night, I'll have to say it was better than Mania. It part. was, yeah, it was, yeah. it was better than Mania. The only thing that made Mania good was Taker versus yeah, that that was, yeah. and that doesn't make up for the whole pay per view. Pretty much, especially especially the main event of Mania. Oh god. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna have to give <laughs> Extreme Rules a better rating than Mania, definitely. Well, what would you I, give? I give Extreme general? about about four four to five. Four out of five. Yeah. What were you, Jay? Four out of five. Yeah, yeah I, de I definitely agree with that because think about it. At Mania, at Mania they had uh, Jericho Punk. The Jericho Punk Extreme Rules beat that. Mania, they had Big Show Rhodes. Big Show Rhodes Extreme Rules beat that. Every match that they redid was better. So, yeah, I definitely agree with four out of five. One of WWE's better pay per views. Surprisingly. This year. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely a really good pay per view. Um, I can see quite a, few, a lot. Most of the feuds continue on. I hope they end the Big Show Rhodes one, but I don't know if they will. And that I don't of, think so. I'm pretty sure Cody Rhodes won that. Basically, means going to continue. Isn't like yeah. Cody Rhodes supposed to go to main event now? No, no. no prolong, he must be he definitely can't do that if he's still holding the fucking championship. No, maybe if they no, because Blade Barrett's probably gonna win Money in the Bank when they do it. So it's probably gonna be a while. Maybe next year. So he's on his way. What? He's on his way there. I think it's obvious at this point. He's definitely he's definitely way closer than Ted DiBiase is. They're dropping the ball. With Ted. Ted. They don't let him go. They're not dropping the ball. They pretty much dropped the ball and kicked it into the neighbor's yard. Yeah, and then the neighbor like got a big needle out and punctured the ball. Okay, Darren. I'm just saying. All right. Close it up, boys. Okay, anyway, so uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the review, the opinions, the results, blah, 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 of Extreme Rules 2012. Sorry, there was no prediction video. Um, but that's it how we'll be back up. on schedule from now on. Unless we're all drunk. No, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm, I, I'm in school, so I'm always well, going to be ready for this paper. We'll just, we'll just say, we'll have a, we'll have a foursome. I'll be drunk. A what? What? <laughs> or a quadruple, what, whatever. Okay. What? Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you for the small amount of people that support this show. Everybody who hates it, I have a ball, pair of balls and a penis you can suck because I don't give a fuck. Anyway. That rhymed. Nice. I know. See you next time.